I make videos about Leicester and I give all sorts of information about this city. My main project is to travel as much as possible to find my happy place and feel a sense of belonging. I'm going to tell you all the insights and all the things that tourists don't know. To follow my journey, subscribe to my channel so you can also choose your happy place. Okay, so now that you know why I'm here on YouTube, today's video is going to be about the 10 things that I dislike about Leicester. I already made a video about the 10 things that I like about Lasta and it's linked up to your right. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you to watch it after watching this video. Homelessness is popular here in Lasta. You'll see many homeless people around the city. There are good homeless people and bad homeless people. The good ones you can have a chat with, but the bad ones will ask you for money aggressively and if you refuse they are gonna be even more aggressive and you can tell these people will use will ask you for money to spend in something irresponsibly such as cigarettes drugs and yet the leicester city council doesn't do very much to tackle homelessness in this city <music> Depending on the department and the issue, Leicester City Council doesn't do anything to help its citizens here in Leicester. You send an email, you call them and all they're going to say is sorry I can't help you or you have to wait two or three working days, bear with us, but it's actually not true. They won't call you back. I had three issues and one was sorted out immediately, but the other two not. So the first issue that I had was with a cat. My neighbors had a cat and this cat always pooped next to our main door. It was so smelly, it was full of it and it was so gross. We took some pictures and we sent to the Leicester City Council but I had no response at all. The other issue that I had was persistent and I still have this issue, which is having a few guys standing in front of our door and they chat, they're loud, they smoke cigarettes, they drink and they throw the cans and food in front of our house. <sighs> so I contacted the Leicester City Council. One of the police officers got back to me and said what's the problem and I said everything I said that I can't keep telling them to go to the park and have a chat over there not in front of our house the outside of my house is not a place to for them to chat a place for them to throw everything they want and the police officer said that if I ever feel in danger call 999 that's not very helpful <music> I cycle a lot and there are so many other people who cycle. You see so many bikes here in Leicester. We all hate hilly roads. We have to cycle up, up, up. It's a lot of effort and I wish all the roads in Leicester were flat. When you get tired, you have to get off your bike and walk instead. I find some areas around Leicester very polluted dirty and smelly because of the main roads and cars always drive there. There are also cramped restaurants and there is constant cooking and the areas that I'm talking about are Evington Road, Nuffborough Road, East Park Road, Belgrave, Melton Road. The city centre is actually kept very clean. It's just the, you know, when you go out Side of the city centre that you start to feel the pollution and the heaviness in the air. Narrow roads are not something that I dislike, it's something that I hate. Such a headache driving through narrow streets. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna give you an example. So there is a narrow street where just one car can drive through. So I'm the driver and I'm at the end of the road and you're the driver and you're also at the end of the road. We both have to drive through. So I'm gonna wait at the end and let you drive through. So you disappear and I can drive on my way and also disappear. But wait, I'm driving and I'm in the middle 
and I realized there is another car driving through and it doesn't stop. That car doesn't stop. It keeps driving until it's in the middle of the street like me. And now we are both stuck. And that's when one of us have to reverse back to let the other car drive and disappear. You know what I'm saying? There is constant road work here in Leicester. For no reason, they are constructing something in the city centre and the universities are making more accommodations and there is no need, there are spaces already. And I heard from Leicester Mercury that Foss Park, which is a shopping centre, wants to enlarge it and there is no need to enlarge a shopping centre that is already big enough. Segregation is something that I talked in depth in the other video called 10 things that you should know about Leicester and again it's linked up to your right. Crime is serious in Leicester and I also talked about crime in the other video that I mentioned before. There is a lot of drama going on between immature people. Stabbing and knife crime are very common, but there are also other crimes that you should know. Leicester, to be honest with you, has some horrible people. <laughs> I dislike Leicester for four years because of these people that I met. I don't know if it's the weather or life made them that way. People in Leicester are not friendly and they can be horrible. I'm not the only one who says so. There are also other people who think the same way. I'm not going to talk about what happened to me because my story is meaningless and we all met some horrible people in life. I lived in other places before, so I can make a comparison. People here, especially young people, are not very sly, not very clever. Finally, the size. Leicester is small, and I said this so many times, so if you're one of those people who have been watching my videos from before, and you heard this sentence from me so many times, I'm so sorry, but the size is something that I dislike. It has a trampoline, so many pubs, charity shops, mini golf, two cinemas, so many parks, two shopping centers, Foss Park and High Cross, and also Haymarket. So in the city center, we have two. Outside of the city center, there is one. It has so many shops, so many clothing shops, and usually, they have clothes that I don't even really like and a few boring museums. I want to know from you who lived or still live in Leicester the things that you disliked or dislike about this city. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget and see you next time.